Today we are going to be demonstrating the um, how to install a solar panel on a sloped composite asphalt shingle rooftop. Now, on a flat rooftop, uh, solar arrays are commonly installed with a ballast system. On a sloped roof, you obviously can't use a ballasted system as the weight of the uh, ballast and the system would simply slide off. This is a composite asphalt shingle roof mock-up at approximately a 10 over 12 slope. A straightforward weight simply slides off the rooftop. Normally when you install a solar array you have to lift up three courses of shingles and make a penetration which is a hole completely through the shingle roof and remove pry up shingles or cut them out which isn't optimum from a labor perspective or a leak perspective. The system I'm proposing requires no penetrations and I've discovered a material which increases its coefficient of friction as the force is applied and it suspends it on there. And again I'll demonstrate the uh, conventional weight and here is a weight with this material applied to it. No penetrations, no adhesives, no nothing. I can go to a composition roof and just stick the weight on and it stays perfectly still. Here you can see some pictures of roofers using a expanded polymeric foam rubber to support themselves while they install shingles without slipping, easily supporting a 200 pound work person on a steep angle. Hi, I'm Rocky Schnars. I've got on a pair of shoes made by Cougar Paws. These things are unbelievable and the really slick thing about it is it has a replaceable sole. The sole is a real pliable rubber which really lets you stick onto the roof really well. This means a 12-12. Check this out. I wouldn't want to be here all day but right now I'm stuck on this thing and I'm pretty comfortable. Here's the same adhesive um, friction, increasing friction material on an A36 um, 316 stainless plate which gives us our weight, our ballast weight and also gives it stiction so that when you put it on there, this would be a base plate with mounts and you would mount your solar array onto it and you come up to your asphalt shingle and instead of having to measure off, drill penetration holes, attach flashings and so forth, you would simply attach a base roughly the size of the solar panel with the solar panel attached to it all pre-wired and grounded and you just go up to the rooftop and add it just like that. You may be asking yourself, well how secure is that? Um, to do a simple, simple test, I've got a, a blower which blows at 120 miles per hour and 150 miles per hour. So I just attach this with no adhesives, no penetrations, and I will blow at 120 miles per hour. And there's no movement whatsoever. Now I'll turn it up to 150 miles per hour, and to demonstrate the speed, I will put it on this um, weight down on the... Uh, sidewalk and you'll see how it moves and then I'll blow on the uh, base attachment and you'll see how it does not move. And you saw how it easily moved the uh, the weight on the concrete but the um, 
the base attachment for the solar panel didn't move off the uh, sloped roof. And you can see, again, no glue, no adhesives, no um, penetrations, and no attachments. 150 miles per hour wind, 10 over 12 slope.